Hey there guys and welcome back to the Two Players Podcast episode 16. There was a lot of news that actually did happen between these two weeks. We got the Nintendo Direct and the Apple conference along with Sony showing off the PlayStation stuff. So the first thing is nothing exactly extraordinary but Nintendo decided to go and announce a new 3DS model which is the Galaxy one and it honestly looks pretty good. Yeah, um, I mean... It's cool that the, the 3DS XL is getting a new model. Was this a new one, though? Is it, like, a new 3DS? Yeah, is this it? is a new oh, okay. 3DS XL. Yeah, I mean... Because... I, I don't oh, know wait, why... Doesn't this have the changeable faceplates, or or not? Um, no, that's the uh, regular 3DS. Alright, never mind. The regular th- new 3DS. I don't know why the hell they decide, decided on that name. But, I mean, it's not going to make me buy a new 3DS, because there's still so much to be, um, I guess, offered... Because yeah. there's not enough exclusive games on there for me to, you know, upgrade right now. I mean, the only thing that's on there is, like, Xenoblade Chronicles, I think. And that's about it. Yeah. Like only, oh, no, and you can play SNES games, I think. I don't uh, know why that's an exclusive, but okay. Yeah, me either. I'm pretty sure a regular 3DS can play SNES games, just saying. But, yeah, they decided to go and announce this. And then, I believe, a couple days, or maybe even, like, a week later, the... They announced a a direct was gonna happen. Yeah. And it was gonna be focused on 3ds, so I wasn't like disappointed that like, oh, they didn't show any NX stuff. But they strictly said that you know it's gonna be focused on 3ds and you know the new games that are coming out for it. So what do you think of the direct as a whole? I thought like, it was everything. O- I thought it was okay. You know, obviously at the end they dropped the, uh, the bombshell, which was the, the Pikmin 3ds. But I thought the uh-huh. whole thing is mostly just saying stuff for you new. Like, or yeah. just like a lot of things being ported over to the to the 3ds, like. Um, and um, I did a whole video on this. Yeah. And a lot of people did watch it. So, what do you think about Wii U games getting ported to the uh, 3ds? I think it's okay. The the only thing I'm not too thrilled. Like, I was excited for the Mario Maker 3ds. Cause, oh, that's cool. But then I learned you can't even like put in like the ID. Yeah, codes you can't. Stuff. You can't share levels online, That's which really I think is dumb. weird. <laughs> that is like the whole point. Like you can only really. Just... I'm pretty sure either they're gonna reverse that or they're just gonna screw themselves over. Yeah, I, I hope it's like you know a free update or something because that's like that's the whole yeah, point of I, Mario Maker. I wouldn't be surprised if they did a sort of free update kind of thing to go yeah. and allow you to submit levels online and play other people's levels through online instead of like having to walk around and then hopefully someone on street pass has super mario maker and made a level so you could play it which is really dumb where like you hang out with some friends and then they have it as well but really the better version is still the wii u version yeah because i was like oh that would be like a day one buy for me if you know if it was exactly like the wii u version but it's not so that's pretty lame and like that's the whole thing i want to do is like make a level you know just sitting on my chair and just like okay i'm gonna post a level now and stuff so but I guess yeah. not. Like that, that's really disappointing. But um, what was the other one? Willy World. That's getting uh, yeah. Willy World. They actually added content. Which yeah, they is added why content. I'm pretty mad about yeah. because um, I said this in the video. I'm like, they could have easily just made this like a DLC pack for like ten, maybe even fifteen dollars if they wanted to go that far. But I don't know. They decided to go and do this. And I read some of the comments, you know, despite me not replying to them. People are saying, yeah, it's basically like a pretty good business decision, which is, you know, totally fine. And uh, I believe one comment said that it's pretty much Nintendo saying that we are surrendering the Wii U. Yeah. And just making sure that we get these games that probably didn't sell as well as they expected them to. I mean, like, I think Mario Maker still sold really yeah, well. Yeah, I, I don't think Yoshi didn't sell Yeah, I don't well. think I don't think Yoshi uh, sold a lot. So pushing it onto the 3DS is, I guess, a good idea. I and mean, then, I'll buy it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you don't have Willy World, I guess you could buy the 3DS version, but I'm not going to because it's not even, like, a new 3DS game, Yeah, you know? So they're not even using, like, the technology that they do have to the full extent. Because the game right now, I think it's fine, but it could definitely be visually better. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, this game doesn't nearly look as good as the Wii U version, which is... Yeah, the Wii U version looks drop-dead gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. But if they decided to go and do new 3DS software... Um, I think the game would look better. It would probably run better. I wouldn't be surprised if both of these games had like frame rate issues. More likely, Wooly World, I would say, because you know Super Mario Maker is just like uh, New Super Mario Brothers U or 
yeah, basically New Super Mario Brothers U, uh, Mario World, Mario 3, and then Mario Bros. Yeah. So I don't think that game would have any performance issues, but I wouldn't be surprised if Willy World did at will. launch or something. But hopefully that they're working on that. But overall, in my opinion, I think the Direct was fine. It was okay. It just kind of ticked me off with these uh, Wii U ports. But, you know, the new Amiibos for Zelda look pretty cool. I'm not too worried about picking them up right now because... Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm probably going to get all of them. <laughs> I mean, they're probably going to be everywhere, and then they're probably going to be, like, on clearance and stuff. Like, the new Kirby Amiibos, I saw them, like, yesterday on on Amazon for, like, 4 bucks or something like that. So, yeah. I'll probably just wait. I think and Amiibos there's... are just getting less popular now. Well... That's mainly because Nintendo's making them more available to oh, everyone. That's, true. So, that's good. <laughs> I mean, I'm yeah, not complaining. I mean, like, yeah, that's good. So people don't have to spend like absurd amount of money for these for these dumb things. But um, the whole direct as a whole was okay. You know, it was just like new 3DS stuff or you know some 3DS games that we already knew. Then then we got some more stuff on it. Yeah. Um, like um, where is it? Um, that new Mario Party game. Oh yeah, the Mario. <laughs> right when they showed that game, I just went to get water and come back because I, I really don't care. <laughs> uh, it's like Mario Party Star Rush. Star Rush, right? yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, like, there's seven different modes in there, and some of them take skill. I and might some of them buy take it. Skill. I don't know because we don't know what what all seven modes are. Yeah. So there's probably like a regular Mario Party mode that they've done since like Mario Party Nine. Uh, and then like the toad mode, and then the ones that take skill or whatever. So they should just remake Mario Party Two. Yeah, they should just like go back to what to what made Mario Party good. Because once they went to nine, I feel like they should have backtracked right there. Yeah. But I guess ND Cube, the developers, were just like, nah, we're just gonna keep going with this. So, uh, but we got some more information on like stuff like Ever o- Ever Oasis. Yeah, that um, looks cool. Shin Megami Tensei, the new the new uh, Phoenix Wright game was already released. Yeah. Uh, the Street Pass update, which I'm pretty excited oh, about. Oh, got freaking yeah. market crashes or whatever. It's like oh, yo, we got fa- fast paced new games and one with <laughs> stocks. I'm like, oh boy, stocks. That's what I think when I think of fast paced. Oh place, my god. But the Street Pass update, I think it's pretty good, mainly because of like the fast plaza and stuff. Oh yeah. yeah. And I believe you could hold up to like a hundred players. That's gonna be so, useful for like, yeah. That's gonna be really really useful, especially when I go to Comic Con. I believe this October. Yeah. So that's gonna be great. And uh, the Big Bomb Show, which I'm gonna talk about in today's video, actually, which was released, is uh, Pikmin 3DS. Oh, so. Yeah. What are your thoughts on it? Because there's definitely a lot of negative backlash when it comes to this game. Okay, I've so seen. at first I was like, "What? what is this? I was like super confused. I'm like, what? So I thought it was going to be all like, um, what was that game? Chibi Ru- uh, Robo, like yeah. Ziplash? I mm-hmm. thought it was going to be That's like what, that. That's what people are drawing comparisons but to. But from what I've seen from the gameplay, it looks like Olimar is not like being like Mario. He's not like jumping or anything. He's still like grounded. But the mm-hmm. Pikmin are still doing what Pikmin do. Like he just throws them and they hit people and stuff. And you know, grab items. So it yeah. looks like it's basically just Pikmin, just two D in a two D plane. And I guess I'm okay with that. Like I'm glad they're not making Olimar like jump and stuff because that would be weird. Yeah. But they're still <laughs> they're still keeping the spirit of Pikmin. And I I can see why people are mad at this. But I I don't know. I think it's a nice um, deviation from like the from the yeah. games because there's obviously this is obviously not Pikmin four. This is like mm-hmm. a spin off game. So. Uh, at least it's still, you know, it's not like Metroid Prime Federation Force. It's not oh, like God. garbage. So it, it looks like it could still be a good game, but um, yeah, it's not. It's not the Pikmin people were hoping for. But we're gonna, we're probably gonna get NX Pikmin Four eventually. So this is just a nice little side game, probably. So I'm not that yeah. mad. Uh, when I first saw it, I was like, oh shoot, Pikmin on the 3DS. I did not see this coming. I don't think anyone really did. No, it caught me so. off guard. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, the way I see the game playing out is it's going to be, like they described it, a side-scrolling action game, but there's going to be puzzle elements involving with the Pikmin, and I hope that those puzzle elements are, like, deep enough so it's not like you just, like, throw the Pikmin over, you know, like what they did with the yellow Pikmin. Yeah. Um, I hope that they get more elaborate with the um, levels and stuff, but I'm going to get more in detail with the video that I released today. But I'm just I'm just very optimistic about this game. And people that are really, really mad about, you know, this new Pikmin for 3DS. This is not the Pikmin game we wanted. 
they're probably still working on Pikmin 4. It'll probably be announced once they announce the NX, which I'm going to get into more towards the end of the show on what we want from Nintendo when they officially announce the NX. But um, Pikmin 3DS, I'm I'm just hoping that it's a good game, just like overall. Yeah, I, I mean, I hope it's not like also too linear. Like, I hope it's not like a level to level yeah. thing. Yeah, I hope it's more like a Metroidvania thing where it's like one big level and you get to explore stuff because that's like what Pikmin's about. So um, be- I wouldn't be surprised if it is like level to level because it is on the 3DS and, you know, that's, that's what they did with, uh, I believe, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Oh, right. So, yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully I, it's I wouldn't like Dark... Be... I mean, Dark Moon still has a lot of puzzles and stuff, so hopefully this is like that. Just, you know, yeah. 2D. <laughs> All right, so Uncharted movie is delayed indefinitely, which just means it's basically canceled. So yeah, we're not we're not we're not going to see this probably ever. The uh, headline for this on a Game Informer is delayed indefinitely, but not dead. So oh, well, well, I don't know. It's still like <laughs> that's very. Like, I mean, it's dead. still it's still up in the air whether or not it is coming or not. I mean, I'm not exactly dying for a Uncharted movie. You know, the games kind of satisfied me with the whole Uncharted thing, and you know the way Uncharted Four ended. Um, I don't need any more Uncharted stuff, but. You know, if they do uh, decide to release this any day now, but you know, now it's delayed. Also, and... I think this might be because the video game movie thing isn't doing so well. Like, what? Uh, Ratchet and Clank didn't do well at all. Uh, um, Warcraft didn't do good yeah, here, Warcraft but I believe well it did here. well in China. Asian countries. Yeah, yeah. Like China, yeah. Because but... they love like the whole CGI stuff. I so believe. maybe they backpedaled because it's like, okay, maybe this might not work. But Assassin's They're probably Creed is still happening. Yeah, they're probably waiting, probably waiting to see if Assassin's Creed does well, and then if Assassin's Creed does well, I'm pretty sure that they would fully commit and then try to make the best Uncharted movie that they can. Uh, I yeah, I mean, it, it, again, it shouldn't be that hard, but you know, because it's still like you don't have to be like a video game fanatic to get it. It's just like the dude, yeah, it's like Uncharted, Uncharted is very simple yeah. when it comes to like video game stories compared to other series like Warcraft and Assassin's yeah. Creed. Yeah, War- Warcraft, even. you have to know the lore. So yeah, <laughs> so uh, just just hoping for some more news on this. I hope it's not dead, to be honest, because that would be very sad. Yeah. Another video game movie just like destroyed, basically. Uh, the next piece of news is actually a surprise from the. Apple conference is that Super Mario Run is going to come to iOS devices in December of this year. Yeah. So, what was your first, um, I guess, impressions when they and uh, like announced it, like uh, even like a Mario game on smartphones? All right, so I thought because I know this is going to be a runner, right? Like that's what I said. Yeah, yeah but I thought it, it was going to be like that that really bad Sonic one. You know what I mean? Oh though? my god! Uh, pretty much like Temple Run. Yeah, but I like with gonna... a Mario twist on yeah, it. Yeah, but but it's nah. not actually. It, <laughs> yeah, it's actually yeah, pay for it. Actually, it's like it's not free. Yeah, app. I, uh, if I were to guess, the price would be like one dollar, yeah, maybe it's gonna like be five. Cheap, but still, like yeah, pay for it. And um, yeah, it's which I'm just, fine with because yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that because like I play some uh smartphone games when I'm like at school because I get bored, and then like most of the time it's like there's a certain limit on like how many times you could play the game. So you have to like wait like a certain amount of time or like buy gems or some shit. So um, I much rather have it be free to play just because I'm like a cheap asshole. But if it's a dollar and then they're giving us like a full fledged like smartphone game, I guess I wouldn't mind. Um, yeah, and I mean the gameplay looks pretty good too. It's like it's basically New Super Mario Brothers, just like yeah, but on stop. the phone yeah. and you don't die, I believe. Oh, you don't? No, because I believe I saw Mario hopping over Goombas. Uh-huh. So I'm pretty sure you don't die. And uh, it it will be coming to Android, but I'm pretty sure Apple paid them a lot of money oh, yeah. to make it onto this onto their devices first to I guess push the new iPhone and iPads Too this bad, holiday no season. The iPhone seven because no headphone jack. No I mean iPhone. it doesn't matter. Alright. We could go into this, but <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure, despite them not having a headphone jack, people are still going to buy the iPhone. I know. Like, I, that, I don't like know. I'm still going to get it, to be honest. I'm, because I'm, I still have an iPhone 5, and you get 6 eventually. Because, first off, the camera's better. And they are making the default lowest gigabyte. I believe it's like 
32. All right. So that's pretty good because my phone, I believe right now, is like 16 gigs or like 12 or something like that. Some like low number. And the fact that they're basically forcing me to upgrade to a higher, I guess, memory is fine. But I don't know. I think people, no matter how outraged they get at Apple, Apple's still going to make money. There's still people there that are going to buy the iPhone 7, iPhone 7 Plus. And you know what? They'll just have to go and deal with this headphone jack thing. And um, the main complaint that people were making is that they can't listen to music and charge their phone. Apple uh, figured out a way. They made a adapter, I believe. Yeah, it's, not gonna be re- yeah, it's not even going to be... Yeah, it's not even going to be released at launch it's gonna be forty dollars and you know if you want to do that you can do that but and then they did the stupid wireless headphones Dude, it's just like, which well, are i don't give a shit just, just put <laughs> yeah. a headphone jack it's not that hard <laughs> no no one wanted wireless headphones from apple but they did it anyways it's 160 i don't know why they're like a tool like i don't want to <laughs> but yeah, I mean, Apple Apple has weird decisions, but it always turns out to be, I guess, a good one I mean, in the end. I guess. I mean, people are still going to buy it, like you said, but whatever. I'll just get iPhone 6 because I still have a 5. <laughs> but anyways, back to, like, Super Mario Run. Uh, it will come to Android. It's just that, you know, Apple paid them a lot of money. And uh, the stocks for Nintendo did go up after this announcement, which I'm not surprised. Yeah, because you know, I, think, I think everyone just people, knows like... People are much. They like it when, um, how do I put this? When companies do a safe move. Yeah. I would say so. Like Nintendo jumping into the um, uh, mobile scene in terms of games, people are like, oh, that's gonna work. Yeah. So, ever since you know, Pokemon Go, they have a lot of trust in Nintendo, so they just put in a bunch of money there. Yeah, and then you know when Nintendo does something risky, maybe with like the Wii U or something like that. Uh, obviously, people won't invest stocks into it because. That didn't turn out that well, but uh, anyways, you know, their stocks went up. That's good for them, and I hope that Super Mario Run in the end is a good smartphone game that uh, everyone can enjoy. Yeah, and uh, speaking of mobile stuff, Fire Emblem and Animal Crossing mobile games have been pushed back to March 2017. I didn't even know that was a thing, but apparently it is. Uh, yeah, they were going to make mobile games for Fire Emblem and Animal Crossing, which I don't know how they would do that. If I were to guess, they would do, like, some sort of RPG thing with Fire Fire Emblem. Maybe it may be free. They're, it probably won't, if I were to guess. But Animal Crossing, maybe it's like... An- a, I could see Animal Crossing working. Yeah, I, I could see Animal Crossing working, but Fire Emblem's still, like, up in the air for me, like, trying to predict what they'll do. But if I were to guess why these games got delayed to March 2017 is because of Super Mario Run. Because they were probably developing this Mario game for both, I guess, um, for both iOS and Android. And then Apple was like, hey, um, here's some cash. And then they were like, alright, well, we're going to drop this. And they try to make this mobile game the best that we can. And since it is Mario, they want to go and make sure that... This is, you know, their first really good showing in terms of their um, first dive into the mobile market. I yeah, because Mitomo was just like, yeah, whatever. Like, I cares? mean, like, at first it was like, hey, everyone downloaded it. And then it was like, I never mind. It's like a, a worse Twitter, basically. Yeah, and, and Pokemon Go was really good until Niantic just stopped caring about it and then just went downhill. But um, hopefully I mean, this game would be good. <laughs> When a game is that hyped up and then everyone's, like, literally everyone's playing it, there's going to be some people that drop off, like, Ux, you I, know. I, because... yeah. I mean, I, like, I I open it sometimes, but it's not like I go crazy about it. Like, yeah, I, like, when I'm walking around at school, I don't open it to, like, try to find Pokemon because that's kind of, like, like just, first off, yeah, it kills my battery. Yeah, so it does, I'm just, yeah. like, uh, I really don't want to do that. And I sort of, I guess, got lazy and lost interest in the game. So... I don't know, you know, there's still people walking around trying to find Pokemon, getting it, getting out there, you know, walking, getting some exercise, and you know what, that's that's fine and dandy, but, you know, much rather sit at home and play games there, that, that's I true. guess. But, I don't know, hopefully that when these uh, two games do get announced, they are good, and, you know, they will represent the series that, you know, they are pretty much representing, so... Uh, the next piece of news is that the PS4 Slim is real. We, I believe we 
reported it last week or the week before one of the past podcasts it was like the ps4 slim got leaked and it looked pretty real and they showed it off at the uh show that they did i believe in new york or something like that yeah but they showed it off at their conference and it'll be out september 15th for 300 bucks uh so what are your thoughts on this uh again yeah, you know i think slim versions always nice um you know, they're, they're cheaper. They provide like, oh, if you didn't get a PS4 yet, you should, because the PS4 is actually a pretty good system. And uh, with there's a lot of cool stuff coming out, like Final Fantasy uh, 15 and Persona 5. So I was like, yo, you should get a, you should get a PS4, man. So that's basically what they're saying. And I mean, I, if you still don't have one, uh, the next one is the PS4 Pro. Yeah. So. So this one is like what, the, like the the new one, like it, it's, it's like, pretty much like a upgraded PlayStation 4. Yeah. And um, I believe Microsoft has theirs. I, I forget what it's called. It's like Project Something. But uh, they announced it at the end of their E3 conference, and it would be out next year holiday season. So I feel like PlayStation announcing this console, and also on top of that, it's coming out November 10th for four hundred dollars. So if you don't, if you do not own a PS4, you have two options. You could either buy the slim version, don't care about you know the technology that the Pro offers, or you could go and get the PlayStation 4 Pro because you like you know better graphics. You have a 4K TV that could run these games. Uh, but you know. you know, it says um, the PS4 Pro will not, however, play 4K uh, Blu-rays. So yeah, that- it won't play 4K Blu-rays, but it'll run 4K games so weird all right <laughs> yeah i don't know i don't know why also i heard something about the playstation 4 pro not even playing blu-rays in general or something oh, like God, that <laughs> i might have i might have read that wrong but it might just not play 4k blu-rays i don't know but uh now you have two options so that's i guess nice but microsoft pretty much gets the upper hand now and looks at at the ps4 pro specs and says, all right, we got to make it better than this console because we're trying to make money, more money than our competitors. So I guess this is sort of like the greed showing within PlayStation, you know, them trying to um, release a better version of the PlayStation 4 so early. Yeah. And trying to get money for this holiday season and stuff. Yeah, they're, they're, they're getting a little greedy. They're like, hey, we could like just push this out as quick as we can so the kids can buy it on Christmas. That's basically what they're doing right now. Like, when is the Scorpio even supposed to come out? Like, do we even know? Uh, I believe it's supposed to be next year holiday season or right. something like that. So. so yeah, Sony just wanted a upper hand, but I don't know if it, like I mean I don't really care because I have a P, I have a PC, but uh, and like if I ever wanted a PS4, I would just get the Slim, like you know, no, no big deal. But um, you know, if you actually really care about this, then go ahead and buy it. I I still don't think I would just wait for like a PS5 because. I, I like I don't think this generation's over quite yet. It's still PS4s and Xbox ones. Yeah. It's just 4K stuff now. But um, you know, yeah, if you really want the 4K stuff, then get it. Or, or faster like CPU and stuff. It's not necessary. It's not like a PC or anything. Yeah. So I don't know. The whole PlayStation conference was. I mean, like, I I didn't watch it, but the impression of it was that a lot of people were just disappointed in it. Yeah. Like, you know they didn't they didn't show off anything crazy like they didn't even show off like new spider-man ps4 footage they showed off the game running on ps4 pro which people thought that you know we would actually get to see gameplay but they uh, didn't it was do just, that. yeah it was just like a like a little garbage cutscene or something <laughs> like, and nice. then they didn't even like show off any anything else from e3 like no crash no nothing so you know, like the whole conference. I guess some people overhyped it a little bit. I mean, I didn't even know that they were gonna have this Me conference. Either. Yeah. So, I mean, from what we got, I'll take it. You know, it's not like I'm gonna die over the fact that this is like the worst Sony conference that they ever had for PlayStation. But, anyways, we'll move on from there, on to games we have been playing recently. So I'll start with you because I actually have nothing I've been playing this week other than or these past two weeks other than like League. So. Baby, all right. So I've been so after fin- finishing Wolf Among Us, I was just like, all right, that's enough story games for now. So I went on and played Saints Row Three, and that game was really good. It's so it's, it's just retarded. Oh, yeah, man. yeah, it's just it's retarded so GTA. Much fun. Yeah, it, it's it's really fun. You know, you just you now after experiencing like two heavy story based games, I just want to hit someone with a dildo. So like that's 
<laughs> and that, that's that that's a good game for that, you know. And it's actually really funny. And it it, it wasn't that long. It was like like thirteen hours. Or so it, it wasn't too long. So I, yeah, I finished that. Really good game. Um, mm-hmm. I heard the fourth one gets crazier because he basically just gets superpowers and stuff. So that that's cool. So yeah, I, I've been playing that, and I started Pillars of Eternity, which is basically the c- complete opposite of what Saints Row is. It's, it's an RPG. It's like a CRPG. If uh, you don't know what CRPG means, it's basically like, like um, classic RPGs, which is stuff like from the 90s, but it's like, you know, recreated. This was like a Kickstarter game from last year. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, it's made by Obsidian, which made uh, Fallout New Vegas and South Park The Stick of Truth, and I love both of those games. So And it was on sale, so I was like, you know what? Why not? I'll, I'll buy it. It was like $10. So I bought it, and it's really fun. Uh, I have like 12 hours in it right now. Uh, a lot of reading, a lot of stats. You know, it's very... My you know, God. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot like that. I, I'm enjoying it because I, I like that stuff. But um, yeah, it's definitely not for everyone. Uh, very. It's like um, yeah, it's, it's very a lot of reading. Just a lot. <laughs> it's My like God. reading a novel, but it's it's, it's still, oh, still a good no. game. It, it's still a great game. Like it, like when you actually fight, it's it's really good combat. It's like um, a real time strategy game, but you could like pause it, so it kind of feels like a turn based game. So if something bad happens, you can just pause the game at any time and then just issue orders to like like you have six units at a time so you could just issue orders to um before you unpause the game and then see how it goes down i really like that because most of those games are turn-based not a uh, real time so that's really cool i'm really enjoying it and uh i okay. think that's about it uh yeah yeah i haven't actually started the overwatch season two thing yet because yeah uh, i haven't started that either yeah I, I mean once you guys start playing it i'll, I'll play it but uh yeah i think that's that's what i've been doing all right man I mean, I've just been playing uh, League. I mean, like, for fun, for, like, ranked or for whatever. For fun, like, wow. I mean, I was leveling my account, lo- like, my Smurf and stuff. So, like, I was, like, playing Elise okay. Jungle. I didn't know what the hell I was doing at first. But, you know, once you get some practice and I guess you get a hang of the champ. But nothing, nothing too interesting because school, you know, college. Oh, yeah. I mean, I only go for two days. So I could just like, yeah. I go around. every day at eight a.m. Yeah, screw so. that. I can go for like <laughs> it's two full days, and I want to kill myself when I get stuck in traffic at like five. But you know, it's fine. I'm totally okay with that. So I can just have the rest of the days for myself. I mean, I really don't mind to be honest. It's just a matter of the gaps that I have between oh, yeah. my classes. Yeah, like, I go. I, have... I go from like six, and then I come back at like seven, and I have like four hour break, and then I go back at a uh, twelve thirty. It's like good. Oh my it's weird. god! Yeah, I waste a lot. Yeah, of gas. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so like sometimes I'm just like at school, just like trying to you know keep my mind intact before I go to my next class, just like wanting to kill myself or Wait, something. How, uh, well, how long is the how long is the gap? Uh, one of them's like, all right. So Wednesday I stayed. It it I think it was like plus two hours or something oh. like that. So I. I was like, I have no homework to do because See, I have no It's good to have a car. Access. I'm so grateful. <laughs> I mean, I just, like, hanged out. Like, I was walking around and stuff. Like, I didn't. <laughs> screw that. I didn't care. But, like, once I once I went into my English class, I was just like, please just end already. <laughs> but uh, the host topic that I brought in today is that if Nintendo were to announce the NX let's say, like, a couple days from now, what I, would you want them to announce, okay, like, um, in detail? In detail, I just want, like, everything. Like, I want them to I want them to have a clear launch window, like, a what what's going to come out. Like, what's going to come out when the thing launches and what's going to come out in, the, like, the months coming. Like, you know what I mean? They okay. have a set, like, thing. Like, okay, so we're going to get... So, like, you want them to announce... Uh, Price too, I'm assuming. Yeah, price too. Yeah. So price, and then like launch games, and then like announce a bunch of other games that are gonna be released. Yeah, maybe just, like a month or so later, or maybe even a year later. Yeah, I don't want on. them to be like, okay, you're just gonna get new Super Mario Brothers Wii U, or I mean, new Super Mario Brothers NX, and then <laughs> like you're not gonna see anything till two years later when Smash comes out or something. Like I want them to have a really strong launch like lineup. Like, have, like, freaking Metroid or something. I don't know. I know that would never happen, but, you know, ha- have something. Uh, maybe Pikmin. 
Again, I think yeah, we both said I would I say before, it might be a launch title. I would say Zelda, Pikmin, or like the two main launch games that I would like to see, or like launch window games for Pikmin at least. Yeah. But if I were to guess, if Pikmin is a launch window game, we'll see that game like a year from then. <laughs> oh yeah. Just yeah. seeing on how Pikmin three ended up, but um, what I would like to see is the NX to get like an official name. I mean, like NX sounds fine, you know. It won't but, be the NX. Yeah. yeah, it won't be called the NX most likely. So I'm I'm wondering what name they'll do. I'm bad with naming, so I really don't know. Um, price, uh, I really four hundred dollars max. I would say because yeah. I don't think I don't think anyone would was, pay five hundred dollars for yeah. a console. Wait, how much was the Wii U? Three fifty. Yeah, for the deluxe version, I yeah. believe. Okay. So I mean, like that one was close to four hundred because of like tax and stuff. Yeah. But the Wii U was already cheap as is. So I hope that when the NX gets announced, I hope it's not like five hundred dollars, so I don't have to like break my bank account or something. Mm-hmm. So I just hope that it is affordable enough so we could get some of the launch games that will come out. And I hope that like the launch games are like exclusive games. Like I don't want what happened with the last time with the Wii U is like the biggest Nintendo launch lineup ever, and it's like half the games are from Xbox 360 and PS3 that have been out for like a month or two. Yeah, you know. So I hope that the price is fair and the launch games are pretty good and pretty much are the reasons why you would pick up an NX at launch. Because I don't think I would right now because as of right now, it's only Zelda. So depending, depending on when, when or if they announce any you know like good games. So um, what else would I want them to uh, announce and like speak about in terms of the NX uh, the functionalities of the goddamn console because we know nothing about oh, it. Yeah, yeah. I, I other don't know than, what it's gonna be. other than it just being like a better Wii U, but how much better of a Wii U is it? And will there be backwards compatibility with the Wii U? I don't know because the Wii U is such. It's still considered to me like a new console, despite it being like a couple years old. It's still a new console to me because it's Nintendo's latest console, and you know, like they're still releasing games for like. I'm, Sad to say, but Paper Mario's color splash or oh, whatever. God, yeah. But like outside of that, they they aren't going to release anything new. So I wonder if they're going to re-release Wii U games on there, or if they're just gonna straight up be backwards compatible. So, um, well, if the rumors are true about the whole cartridge thing, it might not. But let's oh see. My I, God. I, I hope it's not. But. Uh, cartridges. I mean, it's probably I don't just know. gonna be SD cards or something. I don't know. How oh yeah, SD work. cards. I don't know. I mean, like, does an SD card hold more than like I think a so. disc? Yeah, I, I think I was reading something that says yeah, SD cards can hold more than disc. Cause uh, right now, when you buy a game on a disc, it basically just installs it to the to like a hard drive to you know the console's hard drive, and it just okay. launches it from there. Like the disc is like useless after the first time you buy it. So uh, I think the SD card is a way to get around that, but I'm not sure. Oh my god, cartridges versus disc. Yeah. I mean, it's been it's been years since we've had like cartridge based consoles. Yeah. I think the last one was the N64, actually. Yeah. So Nintendo bringing back cartridges, I wouldn't be surprised if they did do that. But you know, no one knows right now. But if they do do cartridges, it's like whatever to me. If oh. they do disc, and um. You know what else I hope for? That it's not freaking like eight gigs or whatever the freaking Wii U. Oh was, my so. god, the eight gig memory, bro! Yeah, like, oh what is my that? god, that was so hype, man. <laughs> like eight gigs in 2016. Like, come on, lol. Like, what is that? Like, uh, come on. <laughs> wasn't wasn't like the white model like four gigs or something, something. like that? It was stupid. It's like way too yeah. low. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> And then, like, if people wanted to, like, download games on the Wii U, it would be, like, one game or something like that. And, and the worst part is you can't even use, it, like, an external hard drive. Cause it, yeah, because the external hard drive would be for, like, Wii games or something like that. And, and or, like, also, the like, eShop. The power supply in the Wii U is not strong enough to support it. So the game, would, like, the Wii U would just shut off. I, I had that problem when I was playing Xenobl- uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X. I'm like, why does it keep doing that? Then I read up about it. I'm like, oh, what? So, like, you have to use, like, a, it's stupid. You have to use, like, a USB or something. Cause All it's, right. Like, so, hopefully the memory is at least one terabyte. Yeah, Nintendo. come on. <laughs> or, like, 500, 500 gigs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, that, like come on, man. <laughs> you, can't, you can't launch a console in 2017 with 8 gigs. All right? That's not going to fly because 
people like to buy their games digitally now and, yeah. and you're gonna have to face that fact you know a lot of people like just you know waking up at like 12 a.m and then just downloading the game right then and there or you know i believe that the eShop even does it now where you could pre-purchase the game download it right then and there and then when the game launches you have access to the game yeah so hopefully it's not eight gigs i'm pretty sure it won't be if it is i'm there's gonna be some sort of outcry to make the um memory larger yeah. so 500 gigs minimum uh and then however much more they want to one terabyte would be ideal i would say but uh the controller i mean there's been a lot of like different mock-ups that people have like sort of like try to like leak or like you know concept arts or whatever uh people doing like the little uh detachable controllers with, like the screen in the middle um, yeah, I just hope it's just you know a controller, <laughs> but it might just not like be. a good a good controller that will work properly with all the games. Because if it has to be backwards compatible with a Wii U, it might need the screen thing. So I, I don't know, man. I like Nintendo is just like stop with the gimmicks, man. Just give me like a regular controller. Just play a video game, you know. That that's all I want to do. <laughs> Nintendo's always trying to innovate. Just yeah. like the what, just like what they did with the Wii, and they struck gold. And ever since then, they're trying to repeat, but it's not working. Yeah, just like just make a system, man. Like people, <laughs> people buy your thing because you know they want Nintendo games, like the first party Nintendo games. That's about it. I don't care yeah, about they don't... your waggle or your screen. A lot of people bought the Wii U for Smash Brothers. They didn't buy it just because it's a Wii U. Yeah. You know? And so. the only reason I bought 3DS wasn't because of 3D. It's because you know. Pokemon. You got new stuff. games on there, yeah, so. so it's like why well, I would never like I don't care about the three D. I never use it. Yeah, I don't think I'm pretty sure ninety percent of the people that have a three D S don't even use a three D. Like I don't yeah, use it at all. Like I haven't used it since since the three D S launched. Or like since I got my new three D S or like three D S XL. I can't say new three D S anymore because I actually don't own that. <laughs> but stupid naming. Uh but yeah, uh I just hope that when they announce the NX, they give us as much detail as the console as possible to influence people like me that have little, very little expectations for, like, you know, buying the console at launch. Like, I don't really expect myself to buy the console at launch after they announce everything because I don't think Nintendo would put up, like, that good of a show. But if they do do it because they've done it before with, like, the Smash Directs and all this other stuff, if they can do it with the NX, I guess, Direct that they would do, you know, hopefully they do it then. But uh, I'm just super, super duper, like, confused on what Nintendo is doing in general because they did a Direct on the 3DS despite everyone wanting information about the NX. Uh, I mean, there's rumors that... uh... Like, you know, I mean, I'm sick. Like at this point, I'm sick and tired of I, I tired don't, of rumors. But you know, there's some rumors saying like, oh, they might announce it this month or something. Like, oh yeah, um, some people saying like, uh, like September 13th yeah, or something like that, that because like that's when they that's yeah. when they uh, like announced the Wii and like the Wii U and all this other stuff. So like, there's like some sort of like Illuminati shit going yeah. on. But, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I mean, I hope they like just do a direct dedicated to the to the NX and it's like an hour or something. Because I, I want all the details. Like, just tell me everything. Be, you know, be transparent yeah, be, about it. Be upfront about it because yeah. I'm tired of just sitting around waiting for this console to be officially announced. Because all you said is like, yeah, we're working on the NX. You know, I think they and announced it way too early. Like, the, I don't know yeah, why. They did, they did announce it way too early because people are just speculating. There's, like, rumors going around. There's, like, fake mock-ups and stuff, fake leaks and all. Yeah, I'm so, so sick of it. <laughs> But hopefully that they do something by the end of this year, if I were to guess. By the end of this year, they should have something. We should know something about the NX. Yeah. Uh, whether it be the official name or, you know, the whole big direct that you were talking about that they could do. So, anyways, that's just us speculating and uh, giving our hopes, I guess, for when the NX does get officially announced. So. Uh, Thank you guys for listening to the Two Players Podcast once again. Very appreciated. And we will see you guys next, or two weeks from now, I should say, with the next episode. Yeah.